Hey guys, so in this video, we'll continue the asset inventory tagging. So, in the last video, I've shown you adding tags to the parent field and uh, creating two tasks, two tags, uh, Windows and Linux for the child tags, for the parent tag. Now, I'm creating for Windows tag. For Windows tag only, I'm creating another child tag because uh, I want to differentiate desktops and servers. For that case, I've selected Windows desktops as a child tag and in the tag rule, I'm giving it as a this thing to give the desktops. Uh, I've tested it. Yes, it is working. Then continue and finish. Now it has given me Under operating systems, we have Linux and Windows. Under Windows, we have Windows desktops. In the same manner, I want to do or want to add another tag for <coughs> Windows servers. Okay, so I'll repeat the same here. Under Windows host only, I want to add a child tag. Windows servers and give a default orange and I will nurture it to here servers ok continue click continue I will select the regex only it will be easy Can have this regex uh, expression. I want to evaluate the rule and save. Right, and we have the regex here. We are just checking for Windows versions 2003, 2008, 2012, 2016 servers. Okay, ignore case. You can test the compatibility now. Let's check here. No, this isn't. I'll check for the Windows servers. Let us check. Yes, we have got. Detected to the control server is there on the Windows server and let us check for this. Yes, it is Windows to turn that server. Okay, so likewise, we can check that compact test, test the applicability and then continue review and confirm and just finish it. Yes, now I've added I've added this. Under Windows operating system, I have Linux, but under Linux, I don't I have not add anything. But under Windows host, I have added Windows desktops and Windows server. Okay, so this is so you can add the tags, uh, nesting tags. This is called nesting, which supports uh, Qualys Guard, supports the nesting of tags. Then we'll go to the next, move to the next step here. We got these things both now. You have you have got many examples here. You can check for many examples under asset tag examples if you want. Okay. Now, similar way, now we need to search for the view. I already told you that asset view is a, is a powerful method where you can query all the data, the asset data regarding the asset. So, we will try the same thing in, in asset tab, asset view tab. Okay. I'll quickly move on to the asset view and here under assets. See here, there is an option called saved searches, and here there is a space given bar here. You can search it. So based upon what you are searching, that is important. And you will also get a help here in the right hand side. If you see, there is a help section here. Whatever you are searching it, you can search with that name. Now, for, I want to search for as I have added assets for Windows. I want to search for operating system. Which is Windows. Oh, I'm sorry. Here I have selected systems dot you want to go for a 
windows right windows so yeah make sure that it is not out it is asking you the category let us see if we get anything yeah we have got set so if there are 80 i mean there are four assets here under windows tab and i and of windows operating system all the assets we have got it here because i've just selected based upon the operating system you can also see by just clicking on the wind operating system tab only operating systems you can select or you can see the same thing using the network graph and you also uh, sometimes uh, if you want to use this as a saved search you can also save it as windows assets uh, search i can also show you that that is not a big deal so here we here this is a network graph you it will open and loading it will open a graph this is the this is your network graph so where all the systems are located and all you can give it network topology uh, you can also save this save this as i will save it as windows ss all you can add this to your favorites you can share you can also share with others okay save it now if you say see in this saved searches you need to find this yeah you have find it under favorite searches windows assets and it also showing the last updated search as whatever it is that is a windows assets okay so this is the most recent one at least it's just like the saving save criteria only and now for the same thing if you want to actually check for the entire uh, linux uh, based upon the system and also based upon the operating system and also the patch availability you can also do that very easily i just want to because it is i just want to show another example for you it will be easy to get understand i want to use and operation here you can use and or okay there are two any if it is any you are using any it is equivalent to and and if it is all it is it is actually equivalent to or here okay so i've given this let us see we want any any linux operating system which for which the vulnerability patch is available okay let us check if it is there something if we are getting anything yeah yeah we have we have some type we have some assets here it is showing these are the four assets we have where for this these are the linux systems and for this we have the patch available availability is true right so i can also share save this uh, under the save, save uh, saved it it is saved actually and we can run it again if you want and then you can save it save it as no i want it just to be patch available for run for linux systems you can add it to the favorites you can share it on this with others or what whatever you want permissions you can now you can see here there is two saved searches okay now because we share the search and we if you want to run at some time if you want to go, if you want to run the search and whenever you want you can do that that is the reason i'm actually giving you this showing you and you can also short this of short this actually grouping by assets you can group by anything if i want to group by operating systems here i'll group it by operating systems you will find it that there are two operating systems using ubuntu and linux tell the family of linux wow there we go there we go here huh? now the same thing it is very if you have a search is ready we have money okay if you have a search is ready then you can have a dashboard for this you can create a dashboard using these searches so for that thing what i'll do is i'll go back to asset view now here we have a dashboard tab 
and here in the actions you can configure dashboard set as a default dashboard create a new dashboard you can select that option create a new dashboard and you can use one of the blank dashboard for this and you can add a widget button that widget gives you anything you want i want to check for vulnerability risk between four for 40 and 50 range okay i want to know self 4 and self 5 vulnerabilities which are sorted by operating system so for that thing what i'll do i'll go to create new dashboard and stack to uh, create a new dashboard from me i want to select a blank dashboard okay next and i want to give a dashboard title self 4 uh, and self 4 and self 5 yes by os right if you want to add any tags you can add it to this this section okay create now it is created now you can add a widget to this so you can create a custom widget or you can select it from there you have created a custom widget here now under this i want to know okay actually i want to create this using a ladder actually query yeah i think this query should work here some data yeah there are some there is some data here i can give a widget widget title whatever you want you can I, i'll select a pie actually that will be better i guess yeah it, yes it is there it is showing that this thing you can also have a bar but depending upon the view you can go whatever you want uh, you can have a table this is a table now i'll check the pi here okay yeah you can i'll give this as uh, risks uh, risk four and five systems okay top to time 10 top 10 here where you can select any top 10 the uh, vulnerable these things now you can directly add this to our dashboard that will be added. yeah that's it this is very much easy for us to add use already as we have said only if we know the query language if we know how to query what you want can it is easy for us to get monitored or you can monitor those events or those risks or vulnerabilities by creating a dashboard so that's it guys for this video i've shown you adding the tags and also by how to create a dashboard using the query so in the next video we will check out what is reporting how does policy reporting works and all thank you thank you for watching if you like it share it and subscribe